Hello, this is Shoaib and welcome to my fourth tutorial which is very very important because this tutorial is based on that component which is like a heart of electronics. Friends, I am talking about transistor. Yes, transistor is that component which is used in almost all the electronics appliances such as your desktop, your laptop, even though your mobile phone. Friends, you know, the processor of your mobile phone is made up of billion of transistors. Yes, that's why I call the transistor as heart of electronics. But again the question, how it is work? So in my today's tutorial, I'm gonna tell you by practical demonstration that how transistor works. So first I am talking about the component which is required for practical demonstration of transistor that is one switch, one buzzer, one LED, I used white LED, two resistance, one is of 470E means 470 ohm and second one is 10K means 10 kilo ohm and of course one transistor. I used BC547 transistor. It is NPN in nature, means this is NPN bipolar junction transistor. So before practical demonstration, let's have a little bit of rough idea like how transistor exactly works. Friends, normally transistors are used for two purpose, basically for two purpose means amplification and most common for switching. So in my today's tutorial, I'm gonna tell you how transistor work as a switch. Like I told you in my first tutorial, transistors have three legs, base, emitter and collector. And I also told you in my first tutorial how to detect that which one is base, which one is emitter, which one is collector. But don't worry, I will be tell this again. See friend, if you hold the transistors like that means head is at bottom and leg are at top. So count from left hand side, left hand side, first one is collector, middle is base, last one is emitter. And if you hold transistor like that means head is at top and leg is at bottom. Then the first leg means count from left hand side first become emitter, middle middle leg become, become base and last one is collector. Don't be confused. Let's have some rough idea. As you all see there, there are two diagram. One is in off mode, second is in on mode. So let us first talk about the first diagram, this one, off mode. As we all study in physics, that for current conduction, the most important thing is potential difference. If there is potential difference, then electron start flow. If there is no potential difference, then it means there is no conduction. So as you all see there, base collector emitter, base is connected with zero. So it means switch is in off mode it means zero and emitter is also zero collector is connected with five volt of supply so base is zero emitter is zero means there is no potential difference no potential difference because of this the zero current flow through collector in a loop that's why led is off means led not glow let us talk about on mode in on mode switch is on means Base is at 1 and emitter is at 0 means base is high emitter is low so there is a potential difference that's why current flow through a loop via collector and make this LED on means in that case LED is glow. Now a time for practical in order to prove this statement true. So the first thing I do I put the transistor in breadboard in that configurations mean means head is at top and leg are at bottom so as i told you in that case first leg become means first leg this leg count from left first become emitter middle become base and last one this one last one become collector so first one is emitter middle one is base last one is collector so as it is shown in diagram, base is connected with 10K of resistance and after that it is connected with one switch. So let us try. Same thing I done means base is connected with 10K of resistance with switch and after that it is connected with 5 volt of supply via switch as same in the diagram. 
like that now second thing emitter is connected with ground means emitter is connected with zero grounded see same thing i do means i collect i connect emitter with ground see emitter is connected with ground means there is zero in emitter now the next collector is connected with negative end of led and led led positive terminal is connected with 5 volt of supply with 470 ohm of resistance it is by mistake written there 740 in actual it is 470 e means 470 ohm of resistance let us see see the same thing led negative terminal is connected with Collector and positive terminal is connected with 5 volt of supply via 470 ohm of resistance. This is 470 ohm resistance. Now the next thing which I add in this circuit is one buzzer for your more clearance and understanding. Let us add buzzer. See I add one buzzer for more clearance. Let us on the circuit. Now I connect circuit with power supply as you all see there adopter is on and there is a power supply of 5 volt uh, because my adopter is connected with 7805 so the output in circuit is 5 volt DC but in spite of that LED is not glow and buzzer is not sounding why because this time transistor is in first mode means off mode base is at 0 emitter is also at 0 so there is no potential difference that's why zero current flow through the loop that's why transistor is not working and LED is off buzzer is also off let us put transistor in second mode means I try to give one at base so in order to give one I switch the button See, when I give one pulse, transistor is on. Why? Because this that time transistor work in second mode, on mode. Base is at one, emitter is at zero, so there is a potential difference. That's why current flow through the loop via buzzer and LED same thing base is at 1 means I give 1 with this switch and emitter is at 0 that's why a current flow through a loop and this buzzer and LED start glow same thing like I give 1 pulse it's on 1 on 1 on 0 off Friends, I hope this tutorial may prove helpful for you all. Friends, if you like my videos, so keep watching my tutorial. I will be back again with some more interesting videos. Thanks for watching my tutorial. If you like it, so please subscribe my channel for further updates. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.